can invert the digital signal processing on my matrices. Myself, we are from LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. Today's topic is Nyquist train and Nyquist meter work from the unit introduction. So let's start with that. First of all, we need to understand what is undersampling, oversampling, and how we can define Nyquist rate. So for that, we need to recall the concept of sampling theorem that we have seen in previous lectures. Sampling theorem condition is what? It gives the condition like signal frequency should be greater than or equals to maximum frequency. That is twice of maximum frequency, right? So the sampling theorem condition is what? Fs should be greater than or equals to twice of Fs, right? If this condition satisfies, then fold over error or aliasing effect is not present. Right? So, if I want to say that what is the undersampling effect, so for that, it should be Fs should be less than twice of Fm. That means when this condition occurs, when signal frequency is less than twice of Fm, that is called as undersampling. And if signal frequency Fs is greater than twice of Fm, that effect is called as oversampling, okay? And when signal frequency Fs is exactly equals to twice of Fm, this is defined as the Nyquist rate, okay? So when you want to find the Nyquist rate, this formula is useful where Fs equals to twice of maximum frequency, right? Similarly, when Nyquist interval is to be found out, then it can be Nyquist interval Ts that is equals to 1 by Fs that means 1 by twice of Fm seconds. Okay, so for Nyquist rate we will use this formula that is twice of Fm and for Nyquist interval we will use this formula Ts equals to 1 by Fs. Okay, so now let's see the examples for this. First, consider question number one, first example, whose data is find out Nyquist rate and Nyquist interval for the signal given as m of t that is equals to cos 100 pi t plus sin 200 pi t. Okay, this is the data given to you and we need to find the Nyquist rate and Nyquist interval for this. Okay, so let us see its solution part. So for this, we will compare this given data with the standard equation that is m of t equals to x1 of t plus x2 of t. We have taken over here two signals that is x1 of t plus x2 of t because in data we have two signals that is first one this and second one this. Okay. So now comparing this two, we can say that x1 of t is equals to this that means cos 100 by t. Okay. Similarly, x2 of t equals to this signal. That means sine 200 by t. Okay. Now, when we compare this with the standard equation term, that is cos 2 pi f t, we can obtain the frequency values for these two signals. Okay. We will denote over here this as F1, which will indicate the frequency for the first signal. Similarly, for the second, that is sine 2 pi Ft, we will denote it as F2, which will give the frequency value for the second signal, right? Now, comparing this two, we will get the value of F1. How we will get that? So, here 100 pi T will be equals to 2 pi F1 of T, right? So, 100 pi t equals to 2 pi f1 t. Here 2 pi t will be cancelled out by giving over here 50. So 
what will be the value of f1 f1 will be 50 hertz okay similarly for the second that means this 200 pi t equals to 2 pi f2 of t 200 pi t equals to 2 pi f2 t okay so 2 pi t will be cancelled out by giving here value 100 so f2 will be 100 hertz okay so now from this two values of frequencies which one is the maximum frequency this one so this f2 will be fm all right using this we can define the nyquist rate and nyquist interval right so we can say that nyquist rate fs equals to twice of fm that means 2 into 100 that equals to 200 hertz okay and nyquist interval will be ts that is equals to 1 by fs that means 1 by 200 that will be equals to 0 0.005 seconds okay so this is nyquist rate and nyquist interval all right now let us see one more example for this According to the data, find out Nyquist rate and Nyquist interval for the signal given as M of T that is equals to 2 sine 200 pi t into cos 300 pi t okay so this is the data given to you now here as you can see the data is not in the form of addition it is in the form of multiplication right here sine multiplied with the cosine right so here what we need to do is so first of all we need to apply the standard signal over here standard formula so that we can get the equation in terms of addition right so here which formula will be applied so you already know about the formulas of 2sc 2cc 2ss or 2cs right so the example may be of any type here as you can see the formula is 2sc that means 2 sin a cos b formula is applied which is sin a plus b plus sin a minus b right that means this is the given formula 2 sc equals to s plus s so using this formula we can say that m of t will be equals to sin a plus b a plus b that means 200 pi t plus 300 pi t that means 500 pi t okay plus sine a minus b that means 300 minus 200 that means 100 pi t okay so now we are going to compare this with the equation form m of t equals to x1 of t plus x2 of t okay so here x1 of t will be our sine 500 pi t and x2 of t will be sine 100 pi t okay so the same method which we have seen in previous example we will apply that only and using that we will find f1 and f2 so here f1 that is your frequency one for this will be what 500 by 2 that means 250 hertz okay 
and similarly F2 that is frequency for the second signal that means for this it will be 100 by 2 that means 50 hertz okay so now from this frequencies which one is the maximum frequency 250 so this will be our fm okay so nyquist rate is given as fs equals to twice of fm that is equals to 2 into 250 hertz that means it will give the value what 500 hertz right and now next is Nyquist interval that is Ts that equals to 1 by Fs that means 1 by 500 that will give you the value 0 0.002 seconds. Okay. So, this is the Nyquist rate and Nyquist interval for the given data. Alright. And as I have told you earlier, this data may be in terms of 2cc, 2cs or 2ss as well. So, according to that, you need to use the standard formula for that. Okay. Now, let us see one more example of some another kind. Here, let us consider the data which is given as find out Nyquist rate and Nyquist interval for M of T that is equals to 2 sin 100 pi t plus 3 sin 200 pi t plus cos 100 pi t. Okay. This is another kind of example in which 3 terms are given to you, right? But the formula and method will be same for this. But here what we will need to do is we will have to compare these with three standard equations or as you can say three terms right so it will be like this here we will have m of t that is equals to x1 of t plus x2 of t plus x3 of t why we need to have three terms because in the given data there are three terms given to you okay it may happen that in this term five terms are given to you six terms are given to you so the example may be of any type and according to the given data or given question you need to have this equation that means if there are five terms in the given equation you need to have over here x1 of t plus x2 of t plus x3 of t plus x4 of t plus x5 of t likewise okay now we are going to compare this with this equations so x1 of t will be 2 sin 100 pi t x2 of t will be 3 sin 200 pi t and x3 of t will be cos 100 pi t right so we will use the same concept from this we are going to obtain three frequencies f1 f2 and f3 so from x1 of t we will get f1 that is equals to 100 by 2 that will give 50 hertz similarly from x2 of t we will get f2 that is equals to 200 by 2 that means 100 hertz and from x3 we will get f3 that is 100 by 2 again 50 hertz right so from all of these three frequencies the maximum frequency value is what 100 hertz so we will take this as fm using which we will find the nyquist rate and nyquist interval so here 
Nyquist rate will be equals to twice of Fm. That means 2 into 100 hertz that is equals to 200 hertz. Okay. And Nyquist interval equals to one by Fs or as one by two Fm that is equals to one by two hundred, which will give the value zero point double zero. Five seconds. Okay. So this is the value of Nyquist rate and this is the value of Nyquist interval. Okay. So these are the three variants of the examples to find Nyquist rate and Nyquist interval. They may change the data for you, but if you are using this formula, it will be easy for you. So I hope this is clear to you now. These are the references. Thank you. Thank you for listening.